We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. Hi, I'm Ken Thiessen from MDT, and today we're going to talk about what happens if you miss. So, a few key points to remember when you're engaging targets at distance. And depending on the target that you're engaging may depend what process you're going to use to try to make sure you can get back on. So for instance, let's say we have a target in an open area that we can see the background behind it, either it's a dirt berm or a gravel driveway, but something that will show us a miss show up if we don't hit steel. And we can call our correction, either it be windage or elevation if we see the miss. So windage left or right, we're gonna see us come off each side of the plate and we'll make the corresponding adjustments uh, accordingly. Um, if we're high or low, then that's gonna turn into an elevation adjustment uh, based on how much below or over top we are on that target. The challenge becomes when we have targets that are in a brush line, in some tall grass, there's no visual indicators behind it because when you miss, you know, the grass or the weeds will swallow the bullet up. Then that's a different challenge because now we're scrambling trying to figure out, well, where did the bullet go? If we don't know where the bullet went, we can't necessarily make an educated guess or correction. Um, the worst thing you can do is the same thing you just did. If you just missed, the worst thing to do is to use the exact same hold because it didn't work. So one of the tricks that I like to do is take what's called a field expedient cider. So I'll try to look for a patch of dry dirt, uh, a gravel driveway, something close by the target. And I'll pick a spot out on that, a, a hunk of rock, a lump of grass, and that's where I'm gonna aim. And I'm gonna shoot at that, wait for the bullet to hit that area and see if I'm left or right to get my wind call. Let's say we have a target and you're missing and you do a field expedient sighter into a dirt berm close by and you miss again. It may be just the fact the environmental conditions that you're shooting in are moving so quickly and changing so quickly that you just can't get a solid wind bracket to hold in. It's frustrating, but that's also part of the joys and the challenges of shooting long range. In those certain situations, sometimes it just comes down to practice and more knowledge, spending more time behind your gun, understanding what the bullet is doing downrange in those environmental conditions, follow through, staying on the gun, trying to pick up trace and try to put it all together where you can make good wind calls and impacts in those tricky wind conditions.